Hello there everyone, it's Kathy with Paper Phenomenon and we are going to get started on decorating the layout number five in the moving parts workshop. If you remember last we did this layout here, number four, and it turned out really, really pretty. When we actually attach layout four to our album cover or our, our binding system for our album, Layout 5 is going to be right next to it. So I thought it would be a good idea to use the same or similar papers to create a double spread layout. All right. In this moving part series. So what I did is I removed these pieces. So here is the reference layout for number four. And here is the reference layout for number five. I attach the, the yellow assembly a quarter of an inch off the edge here on this side. And then this one is just a little bit like three quarters of an inch off the edge. So what I decided to do for the matting process, and I don't want you to think you have to change your reference layout. I want you to see that you can change these around however you want. You can easily do that. Uh, I used tape to assemble this, so I was e I was able to easily use my undo and remove my pockets. So that was that was what I did. So for this one, I just want to show you that I'm going to I'm going to move these. All right, if you wanted to move this this way or this this way, you can. But for, in this case, I'm just going to move this one a half inch off the edge because I want to have this border here on this on layout number five so it can look like a double spread layout. And I'm gonna use this paper here, again, so it can look like a double spread layout. So just a few little things that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move around just so I can achieve this double spread layout that I'm going for here. These can be used as standalone layouts, of course, but I wanna create that double, that double look. So I think it'll be fun. So let's get to it, guys. So I'm going to cut this down to size. And I'm just going to place it right here for now. And I don't think it really matters. And then I'm going to cut this yellow piece here at a half inch. Well, under a half inch because I'm going to use it to mat. So I'm gonna go slightly under that. I want it to look similar to this one. And I think I achieved that. So I'm going to cut this down to size. And that way I have a really similar look on this right hand side on layout five and layout four, which I love a lot. Okay. And then this would go, this is still going to go off the edge, right? With our piece here off the edge, but not quite, um, so once I lay this one down, I can still, if I want to, put it a quarter of an inch off and still have that same look, right? Because I still have that strip there. So it's not going to change. It's not going to, I don't even have to change it if I don't want to. I can still put this a quarter of an inch off the edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this one down because I know that this one is staying. Okay. And for here, I did not ink. I just started, um, Uh, what do you call this? Uh, distressing the edges because just to take a break from inking and that's not for aesthetic reasons. It's for uh, mobility reasons. The inking hurts my shoulder. So I did this. So I'm going to continue with this look here and I'm using the Prima. I don't know what this is called. I guess distressing tool. It's a really old tool. I had it. I've had it for years. 
but you can use sandpaper guys for this too. You don't have to try to find this or pay probably uh, hundreds of dollars for it on on um, eBay or places like that. So I'm going to glue this down because I know for sure I want this. All right, this is a for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay, just want to make sure everything's right. So now the placement of the pocket, that's a whole other story. All right, I can do that however I want. And I know I'm placing this, I'm going to glue this one down because I know for sure I want this. And don't let this layout confuse you. I just want it there because I want to reference it. So we need to have these two together, at least for me. So once again, this is the Moving Parts Workshop. And the Moving Parts Workshop is all about scrapbooking layouts with moving parts. Right, so I'm taking the the static look of a layout, right? Layouts are all about the layers, but you can't really lift anything. There are no moving parts, right? You put it into a sleeve and you admire the beautiful layers through a sleeve. In this case, those layouts that you would typically find in a layout will be moving, okay? So that's why it's called moving parts. All right, so we're going to glue this here. And because this layout, I won't be able to do that. But this layout has a bunch of these, we did notches on lots of places here. So I want to continue with that whole notch thing. So I'm thinking I can put a notch at the top here. Um, let's do one in the middle for this one. All right, let's do that notch. Okay, and now let's glue this down. Whatever I put in here, I don't want it to go all the way down. It's just a little something that I'll put in there. So I'm gonna come right, right about here with the glue, right? Because I don't want it to go all the way down. That would be silly for me. Okay, and that is that. Very cute. Already, it's looking like, like a pear, right? Love. And then on this side, I'm going to put my pocket down because I think, whoa, where am I? What am I doing here? Oh, this way. Look at that. There's another link for you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to put my pocket down because I want a mat inside the pocket and then probably do something like that here. Now the question is, do I want to? So I'm going to put this one down first. Let me see this. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep this at a quarter of an inch off the edge. You see how, how I change my mind so quickly? Always. It never fails. All right, so I'm going to put this back to where it needs to be. And this is all in your... In your... Um, in your instructions, right? In your instruction video. All those measurements are in there. Okay. So still, I'm going to still go with that quarter of an inch off the edge. So I'm not changing anything. See, all that, that intro was useless. <laughs> I'm not changing anything, guys. And I'll show you how we'll matte so you can see that it's not going to go over the yellow. I mean, and it can go over the yellow. It's not, not a big deal either. Okay, so still going with that quarter of an inch off the edge. 
key here is to keep it nice and straight, guys. Straight, 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 straight. And you can always use your ruler if you think you need help with the straight like I do. I always need help with straight. Always, always, always. And I really like that look too, I have to say. But that's not what we're going for here. All right, and now this one, I'm gonna remove my tape backing from these two pieces. And sorry for the, ah. Sorry for my head in the way, but I gotta get this lined up perfectly. And hoping that I get this nice and straight as well. On this side, I am going to put my tape backing right back here because I may want to put a second layer under there. You know, like you do with layouts, but I can't get it right. Get over here. Can you work for me, please? Can you be nice to me? May want to put a, I don't know, a torn piece of paper or something under there. Who knows? Who knows what will happen by the time this is all said and done, my friends. Okay, thank you for staying there. Okay, now here, I am going to glue here and here only to stick this down. And then we'll mat here. Okay, perfect. All right, so now for matting here, I can put, so I want to kind of stay in line with these papers here. That's from the inside. Hmm. I can put so see this beige here, I can definitely do this and keep this yellow in the picture and still kind of mimic this beige here, which is what I'm going for right now. And if I cut this right there, I don't want the leaf at all. So I'll do that. And I do not want to overlap this. So I would measure from here to here and that's the size I would cut my paper to. Okay, because I don't want to overlap on the yellow. I want to see the yellow. So I'm gonna measure, see approximately how much I need to cut. Okay, and I'm going to cut that, and I only need to cut to about a half an inch inside the pocket, so I'm going to cut that, see there, I love that, and then I can mat here. which would be, okay, and that would be maybe this, which I do not have a lot of, I don't think. Let's see. Oh, I do, I'm so excited. Okay, I have a piece, I have a piece, people. Let's get some of that blue in there. I have a piece, so perfect. Makes me very happy. All right, I've got my piece there. 
And that would be this piece right here. <sighs> Look at that. How perfect is that matting? All right, I like it. I like it a lot, my friends. And because with a layout, we normally have just these single layout, these single layers. Here we have multiple layout layers for photos. We can use a pocket card right on the top, right? And not lose photo space, which is so fabulous. I love that. And then down here, I'll find a piece to mat down there. And that'll be perfect. These could be for photos. All photo pieces there. Just trying to think, do I want more yellow down here? Nah, I'm going to go with this one here. Let's see what I want here. Okay. And that would go right in there. All right, so I'm going to glue these down because I'm definitely going to keep that. Let's move that over. Let's open this up. So a little bit of distressing of the edges. Again, just to continue with the same look that we did on last week's layout, or I should say layout number four. All right. Just to kind of soften up those edges a bit. Okay. That worked out just perfectly. Let me distress this edge here while I'm at it. I am also going to do a signature cut in this piece because it's got like a piece of full washi tape there. So I think it would be cute to distress this and have a little peekaboo. You can have a photo right underneath. So you really do not lose the photo opportunity here. Which is always nice. It's always nice to have photo opportunities everywhere. And you want to fold right here so that everything matches. Let's go ahead and, and do this up right here. Just a little around there, a little around these edges as well. Very, very nice. Oh, maybe we could do a little more here too. right on that edge. And I'm thinking we could also notch this a bit. That'll give us that little peekaboo that we need, right? So let's glue that down because I'm definitely keeping that. Let's glue this down because I am absolutely keeping this. A little too much glue there. So this is going to go 
inside the pocket, eighth of an inch away from the neighboring piece, which is this one here. All right? And then we have this piece that we're going to glue down. And that's going to look fantastic. That's going to go right here. Again, keeping that eighth of an inch spacing because it's really important. It just makes everything look better when your spacing is on point. And then this piece here will go right in here. And if you do not like uh, this showing right here, you can just put a strip right there and cover it. That does not bother me, but that is up to you, my friends. It may bother some of you. Me, not so much. Not yet, at least. All right, so we've got this piece here. Um... I want a closure here, so let me think before I get too much. Now here I'm doing a circle closure. I have, uh, yeah, a circle closure, but it's going to go right on top, so I'm not worried about, you know, gluing it down to here. So let me do that. Um... Yeah, because I want to fold it back. Do I want to fold it back? Yeah, because I want the circle to show. I do want the circle to show. Let's start off with a 1 and 3 eighth inch circle. Let's see what that does for me. Okay. Yes, I like that a lot. So I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to bring it right there, center it, and make sure that when I fold it back, it clears. Okay, so I'm going to glue that down. All right, so butt it up right against and center it. Perfect. All right, then for the top piece, another circle folded in half and then this is going to go right here and I guess for this one we're going to do the same we're going to do the same actually yeah the same we want the same look oh uh, no I do not want the same look because then I won't be able to put something in my pocket. So I'm gonna go right on top of here, okay? I'm glad I remembered that. And center it, guys. Um, I'm thinking I'm not going to do eyelets on this one. I'm sure you guys are wondering. I'm thinking I'm just gonna do the string under the paper I don't want the eyelet look on this one. Or maybe I'll do brads or something. I'm not sure. But I don't want eyelets, which is why I didn't insert eyelets. And then here, for this look, let me get the tags really quickly. And these are not the tags we're using. I just want to put them in there. There will be a this tag goes in there and it will act like a closure. And then this piece here. Yeah, so, yeah, that's going to move too much. I mean, it's not moving at all now, but still. Hmm. Oh, 
what's in there? What is what is got going on there? All right, got it. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, I like that a lot. All right, so photo mats, photo mats. And I'm gonna use that same beige paper. It's gonna look a little bit boring with that beige paper, but it's gotta be done, guys. We have to use photo, we have to have photo places. <laughs> we just can't do everything pretty, 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 right? So, let me cut my picture, my photo mat. Four of those. I actually need um, another set, but all right. So I'm gonna do a quick little zhuzhing here of of the paper. We can probably put a few embellishments here just so it won't be so plain. Okay. don't even have to put these pretty papers on the back ones. You could just put it on the ones in the front. That is entirely up to you. Okay, if you have your photos already, then you don't even have to worry about this step. You know what, that doesn't look so plain. I don't know why I said that, that looks good. That looks good. can do pocket card on the back. You now photo pocket card. Doesn't all have to be photos, but that I leave up to you, okay? I may put a pocket card, guys. Can't help myself. I cannot help myself. We have quite a few pocket cards here that we can use, so why not? Mm, so I was thinking to put that back there. That looks great. Probably can't see it. There we go. But once you're up close, you can see it. You know, once it's in front of you. Love that. Or if you don't want to do that, we can do, where's that blue paper that we use with the dots? See if I can find a piece. Ah, here we go. Oh, but that one's a big piece. Um, here we go. So this piece this piece will stand out significantly. And you can crinkle it up a little bit, right? If you want to do something like that. Yeah, this piece stands out just enough. And I like that a lot. 
And we can mimic this here as well somewhere else if we want to do that. Um, for this pocket card, I love it, but I don't want to um, chop the ladies' heads off. So I'm going to score this at three, right? And then have a little lift right there. So that way, then I can distress this part and this part right there, and then this side. And that would be at the top. Right here. Let me finish with this paper. Get that all done. Some more distressing, guys. How fun, right? <laughs> so much fun. It's got to be done. It has got to be done. This doesn't take too long. Now this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, here we go. So we can have that piece there. Sorry about my head in the way. So here alone, you can do eight pictures if you want. And three by threes are an excellent size for a photo. I love that you can have this lineup right here of photos. I think that is excellent. That is a great way to tell the story. You can even do a journaling spot if you want to and photos. So you can absolutely get creative with this. And then you have, you know, a little pocket card. How cute is that? Am I missing something? Uh-oh. Yep, I was missing one. So lots and lots of photos here, which is fantastic. Absolutely important. Okay, all right, we're gonna, we're not gonna use that. We're gonna make a different one. What is happening here? Okay, so I can put this piece down and remove my tape because I really like this piece there. Okay, and, oh, get off of me. Oh, not too much, don't do that. Right there, can't even put a ticket or some sort out there. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Okay. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, out. We know you go there and Okay. And I don't think I want another circle here. I don't know. I feel like I may not need anything there. I can do, I don't want to do another twist closure here. Do I want 
and something sticking out from under there. Let's see. Let me see. Because I did the small coffee border over there. In here. See that? Oh my gosh, I love these so much. Okay, stop it. No embellishing, Kathy. Trying to think about closures in this case. Oh my gosh, how stinking cute is that? Whoopsie. So I grabbed a few embellishments. I want to mat this. So I'm going to glue it on and then cut around it, give it a rough cut around the about an eighth of an inch away from the edge. I'm not going to cut into, I don't think I'm going to cut into the flag. We'll see what happens. I say that and then I will cut into the flag, you know, cut around the flag. I just love it because it says lunch date with the girls, 1.30. So I think that's super cute. All right, so I'm not even going to attempt to round. I'm just going to cut this straight. And then I'll use a corner rounder to round. And there I am cutting around the flag. Like I said, I wasn't going to do but I guess it's the right thing to do. So straight. And straight. So now I'm gonna get my corner rounder. Hmm. Where is that little blue one that I like? It escapes me. I must have put it in a different drawer. Oh well, that's not going to delay me at all. I will just round it myself. No biggie. Okay, there we go. This one may be a little bit long, a little bit too more than I like. All right. So then this is going to act like a closure, I guess, you know, a little, a little something. I don't want to cover the notch because I love the notch. So I'm going to glue this down because we are definitely keeping it. I'm also going to glue this bit down. Whoopsie right here, so that can stay down. And then remember, we're just doing around the perimeter because we cut into this here so we can have a photo there as well. Right there. Then we have this embellishment that I'm gonna do a little distressing to. And glue that at the very top here. So as long as it doesn't go over this little flap, you're good. And then this will go here with one of these babies. So, whoopsie. Yeah, I think this is good right there. You know, I think I'm just going to have to cover the notch because I like it up just a little bit more. I can live without the notch. I really like the notch though. I'm not going to lie, but I can live without the notch. So having said that, I am going to grab my 
my knife and I'm just going to put a little slit in there and it's going to go through the back piece. Okay, put that in there and that should be in the pocket. See that? Uh, there it is. Open the bread legs. Okay, right there. And see there. Okay, so similar, but not really, right? Not exactly. We have two different shapes here. Then I love this for right here. So I'm just going to put it right along the edge, just slightly off. Then I have this glitz, glitz and glam. And that's going to go right here on the top. And I'll just mat down here. I don't want to mat where it says the glitz and the glam because I think that it pops really nicely against the black. And only glue it to the circle, not on the sides. Okay, right there. All right, so let's get some string. And we're going to have two pieces. Okay. And I'm going to glue this one here. Let me get a smaller circle punch so that I can do a layering piece. So I have a, an inch and a quarter. And I'm going to do some of this blue here. And cut two circles out. I'm going to fold these in half and then cut right in half. I'm going to zhuzh them up a little bit. And I'm going to put that down here. See that? And I can't believe I glued that on Cricut. Makes me want to scream. <laughs> I, can't, I hate when I do stuff like that. Makes me crazy. Cute, cute, cute. And now this piece, we're going to glue our string on here. Okay, right there. And then we're going to mat with the circle. So like this. right there. I'm thinking we probably should have did our little, our little circle, you know, our little half circle. Let me, I still have time to do it because then the string will, will break and I don't want that. We'll rip the paper. So we'll have to do that for the other piece too. All right, so let's get the string right there. We have the half circle in there, see that? And then when you place it, you want the string to fall right in that half circle. Let's pick that up so it won't get glue everywhere. And that is pretty darn perfect. And same thing at the top. So I need another one. 
another circle, quarter inch circle, cut that in half, right? Then we're going to zhuzh it up or to stress it, right? Then the straight edge goes on top and then the one with the with the half circle in it, well, there would be two half circles, right? Because this is a half circle. Then the other side, let me do another half circle in the half circle. Right there. Let's zhuzh that up. And now that goes on the inside, but we put our string first. And this one may be too long, but oopsie, but I will live. Okay. And right there. All right, so now we let that dry before we tie anything, of course. We want it to dry really well. Okay, and this is obviously too long. Put this here so we can use it later. But how cute is this? Make sure everything dries really well before you start messing with it, because if not, it's just gonna come apart, okay? So I'm just gonna let this hang out. And I'm gonna open this up and we can mat on the inside. All right, so easy peasy matting. So the inside here, uh, you can leave this open for a large photo, right? Which would be super, super duper nice. Or you can put a pocket in here and still have large photos, but you will have to crop them, right? Uh, similar to this one. Okay, similar pocket to this one. Right here. Uh, I'm going to leave mine open because I want the opportunity for large photos. That is the whole point of that large section. Why I wanted the large section is to have photo, opportun op photo ops or photo opportunities. And then we have all of the space here for photos. So I feel like this is a great space to, to leave open. And I want to put a paper here that I'm not going to, um, that I'm not going to miss if I cut. Okay. If I cover, excuse me, not if I cut, if I cover. So I made quite the mess here with all of these, with all of these goodies. Oh, I did want to do something with this. So let me put it right here because I will forget. I know I'm not supposed to be embellishing, but I couldn't help myself. So I'm thinking that will go there. And either this one, no. What's behind here? We'll see. I know what size that will be. So let me cut that. Okay. Actually, mm, I did that totally wrong. I wanted to put this here and this here. Oh, well. Let's see what's going to happen. Let's see. I cut that completely wrong. But I'm not going to let that annoy me because I don't, I'm not going to let it annoy me. <laughs> That's why. And then here we could probably do a 
Look at how pretty is that. See that and then you can do that in the middle. And then what can we put on the sides there? Hmm. Oopsie. Nothing that I care to cover. Anything I don't care to cover up. Let's see what this measures. No, I don't think that would look good there. I think I got it. Okay. Because I really wanted this in the middle. It's what I really wanted. I mean, it really doesn't uh, make me nuts if it doesn't match. It will not. So... I like it, but it's not super exciting, you know? It's not very exciting. So I think I'm just going to go with a different paper all together. Like the brown. Let's see what the brown gives me. Because, again, it's for a photo I mean, I don't love it to look at, right? It's kind of hard to look at, but, but it's, the idea is to cover it. It's really hard for me to, <laughs> to, to leave that paper there. I'm not going to lie, even though it's going to be covered. Is that silly, guys? It probably is extremely silly of me, but I am going to cover it up. But maybe the lighter one, the yellow one may look nicer. Yeah, the yellow one does look nicer. We, we'll use this wherever I have more brown, right? Because I really don't have much brown here. I'd rather have the yellow one. Because what we'll see around the perimeter is the yellow. So I rather it look good. You know, I rather love it than hate it. So let's go ahead and distress this. Okay, that looks good. Let's do these other pieces. Just about done here. Bear with me. I don't know what's worse, or are they equally boring? <laughs> Inking or this? 
I think equally boring, my friends. This does not hurt my shoulders, but I feel it in my biceps, which is a good thing. Maybe I need to alternate alternate hands so I can get some bicep exercise in the other one too. Bicep workout. Let's see if I can do it this one. Oh, I can. Nice. Okay. Great. 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 So we are ready to glue things down. Let's go for it. All right. So that goes in here. Right there. Not sure what I'm going to put there, but I'm not worried about that right now. I like to wait for it to come to me instead of just looking at it for an hour and waste my time. This, I'm not going to put a window in it or anything because, I, again, I want to put one a, a large photo here. What photo? Don't know. But I think it would be cool. <sighs> to have a large photo. You know, an eight by 10, wouldn't that be amazing? Just have a big old eight by 10 here. And then this piece. And then this piece. So very, very cool. Another one that has turned out so, so nice. Look at this. What a great, great layout. That is just fantastic. And again, whatever we put in this pocket here is going to go right over this to just secure it further. Here you can put the bow high up or not right that'll oh you know what i did i put the string in the wrong place it's supposed to go the the hole is supposed to go here oh boy i may have to glue it right there and put another piece yep let me show you guys i did that wrong hold on hold one minute but that's an easy fix it's this paper and it is my one and a quarter inch hole punch. All right, so let's do that again, because if not, it will not, the closure will not work. Okay, so, well, I actually need just one circle, but that's okay. So let's, Cut that again in half. And the hole should be at the top right there. See, this should be at the top, not down there. I don't know, clearly was not thinking. So half hole, half hole in the center. Zhuzh up time. Okay, zhuzhi, zhuzhi, zhuzhi. And now we glue the string upward like that. And then glue this on. See that? So it needs to be upward in order for it to do what it's supposed to do. So no big deal, no harm all is well. 
And then this one, the same thing. We have to glue it up, right? And then the half circle. There we go. Okay, so that is good. All right, and that is perfect. We are done. Now that'll stay down, right? And I don't know if I want my, my bow there or my bow down here. I'm going to tie it loose. I don't want to do it too tight because it is still wet, right? But you get the idea of how that's going to work. And obviously a nicer bow. And we'll do a nice little final review on these one when everything is nice and dry, but you get the idea. See, I'm pulling it too much. Stop it, Kathy. Leave it alone. You get the idea of how fabulous is this. We could put a little something here. Don't ask me what yet, but we will put something there. I do, we still have to put our tag here, and I love the idea of gluing this down here. Look at that, how wonderful, and still with our tag in that pocket, tag in this pocket, little bit of something, something in this pocket, All right? This little area here. So these are beautiful guys. Layout number five, absolutely gorgeous. It is a, a set right here. So four and five, so I have them together because that's how they're gonna look in the album when we flip through our pages. This is Kathy with Paper Phenomenon. Uh, we, the link is in the description box below for your purchase options. I think that this is such, such a wonderful workshop. I think you will all enjoy it. I'm thinking of putting this right there, guys. What do you think? Loving it. All right. I'll see you in the next one.